Rosie. That's not good. How's everyone doing? Okay. Let's try to get this ready. Hello. Okay. That ready. Okay. Hi guys. How are you? Oh no. Okay. All right. So tonight we are going to be making this cute little plush reindeer. I have the head and the legs and the arms. Are they cute? So that's what we're going to be making tonight. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Brenda. Hey, Linda. Hey, Rachel. Hey, Jamie. So we're going to be using this pine base. Hey, Blanche. Hey, T-Shell. How are you? Hey, Jamie. Hey, Krista. Um, so as you can see, I think you guys can see this. See how it comes really pretty flat like that. Hey, Jackie. So when you get these, you want to make sure that you... Um, Fluff them. Hey, Teresa. Hey, Norma. Hey, Donna. How are you? Thank you for sharing. Thank you for blessing my page. So you just want it. It's like a Christmas tree when you get it. Hey, Johnny. How are you? I just saw your text, Johnny, but I didn't get a chance to read it. Um, so you want to make sure that you... Hey, Kim. Hey, Sandy. Hey, Vicki. Hey, Kathy. So you want to make sure you fluff it good because they do come pretty flat. So you just want to bring some life into it. I'm, excuse me, I'm doing well. Kate, how are you? Hey, Barbara. Hey, Patricia. Did you guys all have a good weekend? Hey, Dee from Toronto. Thank you. Hey, Kim. Oh, you were? Oh, awesome. Thanks, Peggy. I appreciate that. All right. So I got the top pretty much done there. Hey, Joy. Now I'm just working on getting the bottom part done. Got a lot of stuff pulled out. Hey, Kathy. You know, I never know quite what I'm going to do with it, so I always pull more than I need. Do you, know, do you guys do that when you make a wreath? You pull it. Hey, Betty. Do you guys kind of pull? I pull all kinds of things, and sometimes I use them, sometimes I don't. So, all right. So that's what it looks like once it's fluffed, and it just it just brings life to it instead of you know making sure it's all flat. So you just want to make sure, hey Chrissy, that you um, fluff it out. So the first thing we're going to do is I cut um, red and green of the burlap from Walmart. The um, thank you, Kathy, and I cut it to from New Mexico. Hello, hey Kathy, I cut it to ten inches. And so what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to kind of do the um, ruffle method. Um, Amber, I forget her last name now. A girl named Amber in Kentucky won the um, Halloween wreath. So I shipped that out to her. This wreath frame is um, an 18 inch frame, Susan. And I got it from um, AC Moore. Hello, Debbie. Thank you for sharing. All right, so I'm just going to put it in like that. Can you guys see that? I'm just going to kind of make a little ruffle. And I'm not really measuring, um, you know, how far or how close. I'm just kind of eyeballing it and um, putting them, you know, every so often. I don't want them touching. But I don't want them spaced out real far either. So, And I'm just using the pine that's on the base as my um, pipe cleaners and stuff. Okay? So I was thinking of doing every other one, like one green, one red. But I'm not sure that you... Oh, awesome, Johnny. I'm not sure that you can really see the green. Hey, Donna. So that's why, let me see what you guys think. I should just take that one out. Um, 
I was like, oh, I cut this green, but I'm not sure if I want to use it because it kind of blends in too much. Like, you can't really see it. So that's why I think I'm just going to stick with the red. See, you can't even really see the green. It just blends in too long, too much. Um, the burlap I cut to um, 10 inches. So we're just going to put that aside and maybe I'll use it on another. But yeah, just cut it to 10 inches. And it's just the burlap from, um, from Walmart. Wow. That's not bad at all, Johnny. Okay, put this one here. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was like, oh, because there's red and green in his little um, scarf. And I was like, oh, I'll do red and green. And I'm like, you can't even see it. <laughs> like, I'm not even going to waste it. Because you won't even see it. I'm like, nope, not even going to bother. Like I said, I'm not measuring these at all. I'm just sticking them in every so often and um, spreading them out. So they kind of, you know, make a ruffle looking. Yeah, the green gets lost. So I'm like, yeah, I'm not even going to bother. Not even going to bother. I was like, I don't know what I was thinking. If I would have deco done a deco mesh one, I probably would have done the red and the green. But you can't even see it on this frame. So... Forget it. Hello, Verlene. How are you? Hey, Sandra. Good evening. Monday. We made it through the weekend. And here we are back to Monday. So if you guys could share this video, I would appreciate it. Much appreciation. Hey, Eddie, how are you? Is it Eddie or Edie? I'm I'm just using the pine, um, and I'm just using that to pot to tie them down. Hey, Dreama, how are you? Hey, Sandra. Yep, I'm just using the um, pine base, and I'm just using the top, these right here. Just setting it in between two of them, and then just tying it in with that. Okay, so that's the top. All right, so you see that just kind of brightens it up a little bit. So then what I'm going to do on the bottom row is I'm just going to take some and put them in between. Hey, Pat where like two of the red ones are so a red's here and a red's here so i'm just going to go in between that on the bottom row and put one in between there okay so it looks like that i may have to cut some more red hello 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 everyone Okay, and go in between these. <clears throat> Put one in. Hey Terry, how are you? Sarah, how are you? Oh, no problem, Stephanie. I'm just glad you're here. Welcome, welcome. Mm. Not too shabby. Oh, I hate when it does that. I don't know why it does that. Certain words I say, and it sets off the it sets off the Surrey. Now this is um, burlap from Walmart. It's just like five and a half, six inches wide, and it is um, it's just burlap. I'm doing well, Bessie. How are you? Kind of, you know, I figure a deer is kind of rustic, so I kind of am going for a little more of a rustic look. And hey, Eileen, well, welcome. Welcome. I'm glad you found me. 
All right. So we're getting there. Now I'm going to need a couple more cut. Get these greens out of the way. Hey, Sarah. Now, did you ever notice when you do these that some of the areas seem really full with the pine needles and others seem like really sparse? <laughs> Okay, so let me count how many more I need. One, two. All right, that's not too bad, so I just need two more. So I cut them to 10 inches. Sorry about that. I'm just cutting the burlap. That was not too good. The um, wreath frame is an 18 inch and it came from um, AC Moore, which I don't know if you guys have AC Moore's. It's like a Michael, Michael's, um, yep, from AC Moore. Oops, oh no, I just dropped that one. Sarah, I am making a reindeer wreath tonight. Have a little reindeer plush kit I got from um, a, a craft store called Pat Catan's up in Pittsburgh. And my in-laws, my husband's from Pittsburgh. So we went up to see his mom. Um, I went to the Pat Catan's there. Got some really good stuff. You order yours online. Do you get them a good price? What size do you order, Terry? Okay, so this is the last one here. Hey, Connie from Bristol, Tennessee. How are you tonight? All right. So that's what it looks like with all of the um, burlap in. So you see, it's just it really adds a nice pop of color. Okay. And then before I do the streamers, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, yes, yeah, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the bottom, yes. I know, I wish they had a Pat Catan's near here because I love that place. So I'm kind of, look, I just love this guy. Isn't he cute? Isn't he cute? I love him. So, um, well, let's go ahead and add the streamers. I'm kind of wondering if, yep, I'm going to add the streamers. Okay, so I need 14 of them. So I didn't cut them yet because I wasn't sure. I think what I'm going to do, tell me what you guys think, is I cut these three. I have this one I got at um, AC Moore last year. Isn't that cute? It just goes perfectly with this little scarf. And then I have this red one. Oh, thank you, Marlene. Welcome. The red and the cream. And then I have this deer one. And this is the one I'm kind of questionable about, but I really like it. So I'm going to put one set on and see what you guys think. I cut these to 14 inches. Hey, Irene. Hey, Susie. Okay. Yeah, isn't that a great match? I know. I was like, oh, that's perfect. Okay. So I'm going to put one in and see what we think. I know, isn't he? I got it at Pack of Tans last year. <laughs> Just love it. <clears throat> All right. I kind of really like the deer. What do you guys think? Can you see it? Let me zoom in a little bit. What do you guys think of the deer ribbon? Isn't that cute? Yes or no? Thumbs up for yes. Yep, I think so too. Yeah, I'm really liking that ribbon. 
All right, so let me get that cut. And you guys know I love my mesh holder for this. So um, I have the affiliate link there, but you guys definitely have to get one of these if you don't have one. And I'm going to cut them to 14 inches. Yeah, I think so too. Now this is pretty thick ribbon, so I'm not even going to try to cut through all of them with that. Ah. Go. Cut these streamers. I'm just going to dovetail the ends here. Hey, Janice. Oh, yeah, I think so, too. And I think it's going to work. Hey, Sharon from Iowa. How are you? I was wondering why that looked different. Okay. I know. Isn't it adorable? I really like it, too. This is really thick. It's almost like a burlap ribbon. It's really thick. You can't cut through too many of them. Hey, Kathy, how are you? Kathy, are we still meeting next week? Thanks, Susan. Kathy. <laughs> he had to have notches. Huh? Okay, great. Yeah, we'll have to um message me and let me know. I think it was the 18th. All right, so that one's done. And I'm going to cut these. Same thing. I'm going to cut them 14 inches. And the mesh holder just makes it so much easier. I'm trying to see. Ah, there you go. I can't wait to see what you bring back, Terry. You'll have to do a live from there. Hey, Diane from Pennsylvania. Hey, Linda. Okay. Hey, Patricia from Glasgow. Welcome. Glad you found me. If you guys can share this with your friends, I would greatly appreciate it. Hey, Remy. A lot of newbies here tonight, huh? Welcome, guys. This ribbon I got from um, Michael's last year, and I love this ribbon. I have this one and a half and two and a half. I'm telling you, Kathy, it's great. I love it. I have my affiliate link in the um, information up there, so you need to order it from me. Because it really is, I mean, it's a lifesaver. <laughs> so you saw it, Lacey? Okay, but you didn't... All right, the one with the mesh was a disaster. I'm just going to say it. It was a disaster. I will do the... pull. Um, the. Yes, I'm going to put ribbon in all of them. Yep. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking when I did that one the other day. <laughs> Thanks, Terry. I try. Hey, Yolanda, how are you? 
because you guys know I always like to finagle things and um, change, change things up a little bit and try to just find something different. The reindeer, Sarah, I got at Pat Catan's last year. I haven't been there this year. I haven't gone to Pittsburgh this year. Um, so I don't know if they still have them. I don't think they do. But I know he is just adorable. Okay. All right. Last one is the reindeer ribbon. Get out of the way. Oh, sure. Which one? This one or the other one? The red, I'll, um, I'll show you in just a second. So one, two, three, four, five, I know that's what I did too, Barbara. Yep, that's what I did too. And I bought a bunch of rolls of it too because you can use it all year round. All right. Let me just cut these guys and then I will show you. Okay. So, and this reindeer ribbon, or the deer ribbon, not really reindeer, I think that came from Sam's or Costco. Costco last year. <clears throat> yeah, it was a great buy, wasn't it, Barbara Sue? Yep, it was an awesome buy. I remember doing the same thing. I was like, I'm going to buy a bunch of these because you can use them all year round. And... Um, really pretty oh you didn't here I'll um, pin it for you or I'll, um... here's the mesh roller okay there's the mesh roller Kathy yeah um, this one is the deluxe it folds down I will pin that comment. Um, it's great because, Kathy, you go all the places all the time. So you probably especially need this. It folds, excuse me, it folds down flat. And, um, hey, Tina, how are you? So you can take it wherever you go, Kathy, because you're a traveler. So you definitely need that. Okay. All right, so let me show you guys this. So this is the deer ribbon. Okay, isn't that pretty? And then this is the this is what I got from Michaels last year, and this comes in the two and a half too. I know, right, Jackie? That's the best time to go. And then this I got from AC Moore last year, and it just matches perfectly with him. Hey, Rose, how are you? So those are the three ribbons we're going to be using. Okay. Hey, Arlene. Thanks, says Meralda. Get this ribbon out of the way. All righty. Uh-oh. Um, try going out and coming back in, Johnny, because it looks fine on my phone and on my computer. So try going out and coming back in if you guys have issues. And all I do is I take them, I stack them on half, um, stack them on top of each other, fold them in half. Oh, thank you, Yolanda. And then just, now, you want to make sure that the deers are all going the um, same way. Okay. 
am I showing signs? I don't have any signs, Jackie. You have to send me more, remember? Oh, thanks, Pamela. Yeah, I like it, too. Hey, Penny, how are you? I probably put these top ones a little close, but that's okay. I know, I do too, Jean, don't you? I love this. Love it, love it, love it. Um, yeah, you can. Absolutely, you can, you can match them. Yep. I'm just going for a little more rustic look with the reindeer, so that's why I'm kind of sticking to my a more... Um, oh, no problem, Terry. Thank you. More kind of... Um, burlappy kind of look canvas look so again I'm just they're 14 inches I'm stacking them on top of each other folding them in half and then I'm trying to yes absolutely yep t show I'm putting them everywhere I put one of these burlap ruffles I'm gonna put um, rip my ribbon oh thanks Marlene Oh, that is um, burlap from Walmart. It's the six inch um, burlap from Walmart. Darlene, I normally, I would say 99.9% .9 of the time, I use um, 14 inch tails. Oh, got two of them. Thanks, Carolyn. Yeah, um, I pulled this out from last year and I was like, oh my goodness, that matches exactly, almost exactly, with his, um, with his little scarf. Oh, hold on, let me see your sink, Kathy. Hey, Pat, how are you? The burlap I cut to um, 10 inches and then I just did little ruffles with them. Yep, the burlap was um, 10 inches. Oh, you're welcome, Joe. this on the top hey Mabel how are you I am doing well doing well um, Lacey hi Janet I'm not I'm just using the pine um, needle kind of things and I'm just using those as my ties because there's there they're there and there's no use um, like putting pipe cleaners in because you can use them just the same as pipe cleaners so you don't have to put you know pipe cleaners or anything else in because you already have these here Janet. Okay, so that is just the top row done. And now we're going to do the bottom ones. <clears throat> and like I said, you want to make sure when you're using that printed ribbon, that they're all facing the same way so it doesn't look kind of wonky yep you can definitely do that Lacey yeah hey Janice how are you thanks Lacey 
and then I'm just going to do the same on the bottom row where we put the stream or the burlap. Don't forget, if you guys could share this with your friends, I would appreciate that. Check out my Etsy shop. I've got lots of wreaths on there for sale. Ah, that's a secret, Lacey. I'm going to tell you. I have a couple of different ideas, actually. So, I'm not sure. Hey, Jill. If uh, you'll, you'll see, you'll see. Thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate that. Um, no, you don't have to, but when you hang it up, you know, you kind of want, you know, you have to kind of want it. Yep, you can help us decide, Lacey. You can help me decide. Um, you kind of want everything because it'll look kind of bare if you don't do the bottom row, at least I think. I don't, Penny. Um, I was going to do a couple different, and then I just I did, just never got around to it. There's been a lot going on here. So I never, I had stuff ordered, and then I ended up having to cancel the order, unfortunately. So. Thank you, Carolyn. Um, Jeanette, try going out and coming back in because on my end here, on my computer and my phone, it looks fine. So it might just be your, um, area or your, you know, internet. So try going up, um, and come back in. Um, Kathy, I usually do, I think for some reason, it doesn't really matter where you start. You could start at the bottom. Um, it would probably be easier. Um, I just always start at the top for some reason. Again, these are cut at um, 14 inches. And I'm just putting them in every um, area where I put the ruffles at. The... Yeah, it would, Lisa. Yeah, it would. I'm almost thinking I don't even need the burlap underneath, but um, I don't know. I just like that it gives a little pop of red, too. Thanks. Thank you. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. About one row of ribbon between red burlap rows. One row of ribbon. Yeah, you could do that. Yep, you could do really it's that's what's great about wreath making. Um, you know, you could get the same kit with or the same, you know, materials and you could pick totally different ribbons and it will look totally different. So really, um, that's what's wonderful about wreathing because everything, you know, it's up to you. It's up to you how you want it, how you want it to look, how you want to make it look. Um, and everything looks different. Um, I do, I do use a lot of three ribbons, but a lot of times too, lately I have been, but a lot of times I'll use, um, four ribbons and I will alternate, like I'll put two, a one and a half and a two and a half, um, in each one, but I'll alternate. So, but lately I have been doing three ribbons, haven't I? <laughs> I don't know, on these I just like the three bit ribbon look. But you can do two, you can do three, you can do four. Right, exactly, Susan. There's no wrong way to do it. I haven't, Tina. I have not. Whoops, that one wants to run away. Hey, Nancy. Glad you're here. I have not, not done one with a um, nutcracker. Okay, 
last one here. Yep, that's what's nice about it. You make it your own. You make it, um, you know, however one you want it. Um, I'm out as much as I can. I'm zoomed out as far as I can go, but I can move the camera back. Um, I will have to check, Kathy, because I thought you said that you guys were traveling up on the 17th. We were getting together on the 18th. I'll have to check. Okay. Exactly, T-Shell. Yep, exactly. Okay, now, so this is what it looks like. This box, I would ship it in a, probably a 24-24-6. Thanks, Tina. Now, here's the kicker. I have, which I thought would be adorable, pine cones. Okay, so I was thinking to add a pine cone into each of these to kind of go with a little more rustic look. So I have that. Um, I do have Christmas balls, so I could do balls, but I really like the pine cone look. So what do you guys think? Can you guys see it? I love the pine cones. Yep, that's what I thought too. Pine cones, pine cones, pine cones. Boy, were they a bugger, let me tell you. I am um, a friend of mine's. Um, no, I'm zoomed all the way out. Do I need to move the camera back or is... Okay, all right. Okay, good. Um, let me know if I need... Because I can move the camera back a little bit. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. Is that better? Let me just move it down a little bit more. Okay. Maybe, hopefully that's a little better. All right. Now here's my dilemma. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to attach these. So let me um, get this little guy on here first, and then we will add. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, then we'll add the pine cones in to the ones that are. Um, yeah, it does look big, doesn't it? It does. It looks big. So let me see. Now this guy comes with um, ties here and here. So let me see where we're going to put them. <laughs> you think I need to zoom in closer? Someone else just told me I need to go further out. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can get this in here. Okay. Yeah, I have um, wire. And so I'm thinking I'm actually wiring them in and then... Um, Kind of gluing them in. Oh, well, that wasn't very good. That wire just popped right out. Okay, well, we can't use that. All right, so I'm going to add my own here. And I'm yeah, it is styrofoam. It's um, it's styrofoam. So I'm just gonna punch some holes in there and fill it with glue. And then I may have to let that sit a little bit. Yep. All right, come on. There we go. Okay. 
So let me let his head sit a little bit now. And I think I'm going to add two up here. <clears throat> so, whoops. I'm going to add some here instead of way up high. I don't know, Lisa, we'll find out. in there. Now we're going to have to wait and let them sit a little couple minutes here. Okay. So let me put that to the side and I will grab his legs and see where we're going to put those and his arms. And then um, I also, oh thanks Susan, I also have a little sign I was thinking of adding in. But we'll see. I don't know if it's going to be too um, too bright or not. So we'll see what happens. All right. Let me find a place to add his legs. I'm just trying to find the crossbars. Okay. So I'm just running the wires from his legs through these crossbars here. Okay. And then I'm going to run it through here too. So that they stay in place. And I don't always tighten them a lot at first because um, I want to make sure I like where they are. So I'll just loosely put them in and then we will um, see for sure if that's where I want them. I do. I have just a couple of, um, I only have four of these, um, Terry. I, well, I have four of these like little balls. I couldn't find any more. So I only have four of those. I was looking for more of them because I thought they would look great. We were thinking along the same lines. Okay, so let me put that through there. Like I said, I don't tighten them until I get everything on and know for sure that that's kind of where I want it. Yeah, I'm not sure about that sign. I was kind of looking between that sign and where'd the other sign go? Um, oh, between that sign and this sign. But I don't really know if this goes either. So I might kind of have to, I don't know, we'll see. I'm kind of not sure. I mean, the colors are good, but I don't know about the black. So we'll just kind of see and um, see what I like. That's when I'm like, oh, I'm not sure about that one. All right, so I have his little legs here. I'm going to add his little hands. Okay. Okay, no sign. Yeah, I'm not sure yet. Like I said, I'm not sure until I really get it on there and um, see if I like it. How that one is. Put this one here. <clears throat> Might even move his arms in. Yeah, I'm just not sure. I kind of have to, I think I need to, if I put a sign, I'm going to um, look for a different one. I'm just not sold on that. So we'll see. Hey Cheryl, how are you? So, yeah, I'm not sure about the sign yet, but that's why I kind of pulled a couple different things and right, I'm going to pull this arm out. Well, that's what I was thinking with the sign, that the reindeer would hold the sign, but um, I'm not sure now. 
if I'm going to use a sign. All right, so I'm going to put that there. Yeah, Jackie can come up with a sign, exactly. Yep. Yeah, it definitely needs to be a more rustic sign, and I'm not sure. Um, I may have a sign for it, but... Oh, no problem, Tina. Oh, thanks, Melody. All right, so I have the little... This little hands and this little legs. All right, let's see if this is drying up now. Okay, I think that's good. All right, so let's see. Yeah, his little hands, we're just going to twist them. All right, so let's see where we want this guy. Let's see, let's see, let's see. there. Let's see. I can find my way through here. Um, no, Lacey, I'm <laughs> I'm not that creative. <laughs> All right, so I need to tack this onto here. Hey, Barbara, how are you? Oh, awesome. Let's see how we like this there. And then I have the other ones I can find my way through. Oh, thanks, Lacey. Let's see what I can find. Put his head. Hopefully that didn't come out. All right, so I'm not going to tighten that until I know for sure that's where I want it. <clears throat> oh, I just thought of something. I wonder if. Um, find like a big, well, I know I don't have a huge one like that, but um, I, think I kind of need to bring that down a little bit. Oh, thanks, Lazy. I don't think I don't like the way that is in there. I'm not going to use that, but I'm thinking I need to add another one in here. Kind of hold that down. Oops. I'm operating on the poor guy again. Okay, so I'm going to add that one there so his head doesn't flop around. And then tie that one there once that tightens. Once that um, glue hardens, I'll do that. Let's see here. Woo. See, what I'm thinking is um, something for him to hold on to. Hey, Shorty, how are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Shorty's in the house. All right, so. All right, so that's what he looks like. I know he's a little wobbly, but I'm going to wait until that glue um, dries. So what do you think so far? I need something to, for him to hold. Um, I know, right, Sandy? Oh, thanks. Thanks, Shorty. Um, I need something for him to hold. And I'm not sure what yet. I'm not sure what. I'm wondering if, hey D, I know I have a bunch of signs up there, but I'm not, mm, I have to think of an idea. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is, I think what I'm going to do is I, I put a wire around this, um, 
Yeah, something. It needs something in the middle. That's a good idea, a present. I need to find something. So what I was thinking of doing is wrapping the wire around here. Around just one of the... Um, things like that. And then I could glue it in too if I had to, but yeah, see I wasn't sure like if maybe I could find oh that would be a cute idea. Um like a big candy cane or a um oh I gotta think. Alright, let's get these done. Yeah, something like that. I'm I'm really thinking about that. Alright, so let me get my wire here. Where'd I put my wire? All right. <clears throat> yeah, present would be really cute. Yep. Well, I made a bow, but I'm not sure I like the bow. I'll show you when I get done here. I'm just not sure. Now, what I did was a friend of mine, her daughter got married um, almost two years ago, and she did the decorations with all these pine cones. And she had, um, you know, washed them and cleaned them and all kinds of stuff. So the pine cones were all ready to be used. And I've been waiting for something um, to use these in. But they were really big. So I didn't want huge ones. Um, so I cut them down. And if you guys ever work with pine cones, man, they are a pain. They are a real pain to work with. They hurt your hands. And so I was like, oh, I really want to use them. Let me see. What did I have? Oh, the bow. I'll show you the bow in a minute, but yeah. I know. They hurt, don't they? The pine cones hurt. I do have some um, snowballs I could use. Yep. You guys are coming up with great ideas. I'm just taking it and just wrapping it in some of the, the pine needles and tying that off and then um, putting it in. Oops. Yeah, you guys are coming up with great ideas. No, pine cones are not <laughs> easy to work with. And they hurt. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I have a huge bag of them. And I've been waiting to use them on a project. And this was perfect. But I had to cut them down. Like, I had to cut them in half because I didn't like how big they were. I thought they were too big. And I didn't want them to overtake the, um, all right, that pine cone's got to go because guess where it is? Right between his legs. <laughs> so that pine cone's, that one's got to go. Right, I think that's, that one's good. Oh, thanks, Yolanda. Yeah, that would be cute, a little reindeer for him to hold. Like he's holding a baby. You don't have pine trees, girl? These things hurt too. I'm telling you, I was like wearing gloves trying to get them to, you know, to cut them because they were hurting my hands and ay, ay, ay. But I just thought they would look so cute in this wreath. Use them to make egg corns? What are egg corns? I have a I have a snowball back there, some big snowballs. So once I get all these on, we'll look at a couple different things and see what you guys think. A mini Christmas tree, a little Santa. See, you guys are very creative. I'm trying to think of what I have. I know, right? It is. It is. I don't have a small Christmas tree, but I'm telling you, I'm looking around trying to think of what I have. 
Yep, a stocking with prep. That would be cute, too. Now I'm going to have to go on the hunt tomorrow. A tree, an elf. <laughs> Whoops. All right. I'm going to go, have to go on the hunt tomorrow. Oh, no. So. Rains. Oh, that's a cute idea. What if I sell it on the first show? Um, how many wreaths are you taking, Donna? How many wreaths are you taking with you to the first show? Oh, come on. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I was thinking. And they're downstairs, down in the basement. So I can't really go and get them right now. Um, yeah, Christmas lights would be cute. I do like the... Um, the um, the idea of the, like the little Christmas tree or something. Well, you guys, now I'm going to have to go hunting. A little red truck. That's a cute idea. You have 23. Girl, you need more than that. If you have, you have three right in a row. I take, and I know I'm probably overkill. Hey, Denise. Hey, Joan. I probably take 50 to 60 wreaths. Now, it depends on the craft show, too, because honestly, I'm sick of doing craft shows. I have a little sleigh up there. Now you guys are going to make me go hunt. You guys are going to make me go hunt into my stash. A teddy bear, that would be cute. Or a red train. That is true, Glenda. The reindeer I got from a um, craft store in Pittsburgh. It's called Pat Catans. Yeah, that would be cute, Charlotte. Yep. Sorry about what, Gary? Yeah, the sleigh. I have, um, I'm going to have to um, pull out a couple things. I'm going to let you guys look at them and see what you think. I have a couple things I'm looking at, but I don't know if it'll be right for that. <clears throat> yeah, I'm loving this little guy. He's so cute. Oh, uh, that's a cute idea, Lacey. Oh, uh, what are you going hunting for, Gary? Yeah, I know. I do have to go hunt now because now I'm like, it needs something else. Oh, girl. Are you going to um, Old Time Pottery or Carolina Pottery? Hey, Susan. How are you? Hey, Brenda. Oh, yeah, I know, right? I know. Now I'm going to have to go hunt. But I, like I said, I see a couple things. That I think I'm going to have to pull, it, pull out. Wow. Yeah, Donna, I would have at least um, at least 60 rees ready. And then um, if you run out, then you know what? You just um, take orders. I saw a light that lights up um, today. Was it? Dollar Tree or um, Dollar General today. The string of light, like a necklace. I like these pine cones in here, though. I think it just really adds to the rustic. Um, I didn't make the head. I um, bought it like this. I need to attach that head now. It doesn't flop around. Yep, 
yeah, the lights would be cute, like a, a string of lights or something. Oh, thanks, Donna. right there. Let me attach the rest of his head here now. I want to kind of make sure it stands up like this. Oh, that would be cute. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Joan, how are you? Yeah, craft shows are tough. I have one on the 20th, I think it is. Um, I don't know, I'm really debating not doing craft shows next year because, I don't know, I don't have the best of luck um, at craft shows. Um, Jill, I put them, I buy those um, big bags. They're like big um, outdoor furniture storage bags. And what I do is I um, put my wreaths in plastic bags and I um, wrap them and then I, I put them in those. The deer ribbon came from Costco last year. But I have a couple signs. As soon as I get done this part, I'm going to. <laughs> that's a cute idea. A Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer book. <laughs> that is a cute idea. It's getting there. Yeah, pine cones can be painful. <laughs> the head came from um, a place called Pat Catan's. It's a craft store in Pittsburgh. I live near Philly, but my in-laws, um, well, my mother-in-law is from Pittsburgh, and she's in a nursing home, so we go up sometimes, so. I went, I guess it was July, because I was up there for her um, birthday. And I know I'm going up for Thanksgiving, but I doubt if I'll get up. Um, I know. I did. After I did that, I was like, I got to take that pine cone out of there, girl. I know I saw that, and I was like, um, that has to come out. <laughs> we don't want a pine cone between his legs. I used 14 ruffles. I know. I did. I saw that pine cone. I'm like, that one's got to go. That one's got to go. You guys know I always overdo it with um, my wire and stuff because I want to make sure it's long enough, that I have enough pieces, that kind of thing. So that's why I always end up cutting it. Yeah, I like that. Um... <laughs> I, know, John, yeah. I know, right? I'm like, oh my word. Well, I know. After I saw that, I'm like, yeah, I need to pull that one out of there. Oh, you're 30 miles from Pittsburgh? Do you, have you gone to that Pat Catan store, Patricia? Yeah, that book idea is a cute idea. I like that idea. A map, that would be cute. I know, isn't he cute? He's so cute. Get this wire through there. Yeah, Pack of Tans is a really good, um, it's a nice craft store. I like it. So I know we're going up for Thanksgiving, so I know I'll go 
to pack Catan's for Thanksgiving, too. That's where I got him last year. He's so cute. Okay. Christmas card. That's a good idea, too. You guys have great ideas. No, I have not done that one in Maryland. Nope. I don't do outdoor craft shows, and I kind of try, I stick kind of close to home. Like I said, I'm really thinking about not, um, oh, thanks, Linda, not doing craft shows next year because it's just such a pain. You know, by the time you go set up and then you never know. Um, oh, that would look cute. Yep. If you're going to sell anything. Christmas list. That's a great idea. Honey, you guys, oh, a naughty or nice list. That would be cute, too. All right. Oh, thanks, Jordy. Yeah, he definitely needs to be holding something, though, right? Don't you think? I do need a drink. Thank you, Shorty. Definitely, definitely, definitely need something. <clears throat> that naughty or nice list would be a cute idea, too. Present. I know, right? I like the naughty or nice list. Yeah. That would be very cute. Is Jackie on here? Jackie, you need to get on that for me. Jackie is my sign maker. A couple more to go. Got to get rid of that one between his legs. <laughs> a wreath. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, the li I like, do like that book idea, though. That is a cool idea, too. Oh, thanks, Barb. Yep, go check it out. There's lots of reason there to choose from. This guy will be up there as soon as I figure. Um, I know, Donna. See, you just don't know. You can go to one and sit there and sell nothing. And you can go, um, you know, to another and you could sell out. You just, it, they're so iffy, you know. They are so much work. Oh, awesome. Um, I went to the Pat Catans near, um, Mc, off of McKnight Boulevard, I think it was. Isn't there, there's one near, uh, in North Hills, like off of McKnight Boulevard, I think it was. Yeah, I know, I got to take that one out. I already saw that. Like, yep, yeah, that one's got to come out. <laughs> okay. Yep, that one is definitely coming out. We're not keeping that one there. <clears throat> um, I would take, you know, a couple of Halloween because it's still before Halloween. Um, you know, you might sell a couple. Um, but I would take all seasons. Like if you have even some summer ones, like just maybe one or two, like one of all the seasons. 
um, like winter ones. Um, like the 20th, I would definitely take Halloween. Because, you know, some people may be still looking for, um, you know, might still be looking for it. You got to the one in McKee's Rock. I don't know how far away that is. I'm not super familiar with Pittsburgh. I mean, I'm a little familiar with it, but... Um, yeah, he's turned out really super cute. Yep, if you guys um, type in live, you'll get a message. Make sure that you respond to that message. Oh, no problem, Diane. If you guys could definitely share this with your friends and family, I would really appreciate it. Yep, no problem, Donna. Yeah, you want to, and you want to take. Um, wreaths in all price ranges like you know so you want to try and have you know wreaths price maybe you know like this witch's hats or something like that for like $25 you know on up so you want to make sure um, oh thanks Tina you want to make sure you take all price ranges when you go to um, a craft show because honestly, you just don't know what's going to sell. Hey, Michelle. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go when I come up to Pittsburgh in um, November. Let me see the rest of what you said, Nancy. <laughs> I know, right? See, Nancy, that's what happens. Sometimes you go and you sell nothing. And, um, oh, thanks, Shirley. And then sometimes you go and you sell a couple. I mean, I've just never had great luck at craft shows. And what I don't like, um, oh, good, yeah. Um, what I don't like is when they have, like, you know, five or six different wreath vendors. Do you know what I mean? Because then it really, um, you know, it doesn't do you much good so hey Bonnie how are you last one of these I think hey Sandra how are you doing Get this in here. All right. Okay. Exactly, Kathy. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I could cross his legs like that or something. All right. Now. You guys think I love them. I love how he turned out. Yeah. Okay. Now I do have snowballs, but I don't think that's going to be it. Hold on for one minute. Let me see if I can find something. had was this and I don't think this is going to work because it's too big too big too big too big but whoops you know something that he can hold on to but that's way too big 
Um, the red and green came from um, AC Moore last year. But I definitely need something in there. But that doesn't look bad, does it? But if it was like half the size of that. Jackie's still on here. She needs to come back on. So I have that. But I think that's too big. But I do have some snowballs. Let's see if I can get them down. Oh, and see, I made this bow. But yeah, I don't think so either, Cap. It's too big. Um, I made this bow. But I think that kind of just blends in. Kind of just blends in too much. So I know it needs something, you guys. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> oh, maybe a couple of these. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm liking that list idea. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, either the list or like a, a present. Um, a couple snowballs, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I have to go hunting tomorrow now. But yeah, definitely like maybe a... Um, yeah, this because that sleigh was too big. Yeah, I could hot glue a couple of them together. And have them um, holding them. So, because that stands out. I don't have a stocking. Some greenery. I'm going to have to find something. Because I know it needs something in the middle there. Because I think that would be really cute. I will come up with something. I have to go shopping now and see what I can find. Yeah, I like that idea of like the list, like the naughty or nice list. Yeah, it definitely needs smaller, although those colors are good, but it definitely um, it needs something in there. Although he's cu cute the way he is, but um, he needs something in his hands. That's funny, Kim. <laughs> that is funny. Yeah, I'm going to have to get um, find something to put in there. But I think he turned out so cute. It's great with deco mesh and put it on. Yeah. Like, yeah, something like a rolling list or something. That would look really cute. But what do you guys think so far anyway? Even without the something in the middle, which I know. I know, Blanche. I know. I know. I know. I know. Yeah, I know, but he's so cute. Yeah, I just got to find something for the middle, but I really like him. He's a cutie. Yep, now I got to find something. Well, thanks for all your di ideas, guys. I'm definitely going to find something to put in the middle there. Okay, um, like I said, check out my Etsy shop, check out my YouTube channel, and if you don't already like and follow my page, please do that, and please share this with your friends, and as soon as I figure out what I'm putting in the middle, I'm going to, um, I will, a hunter's gun, that's a great idea, Barb, that's a good idea too, yeah, to see if I could find a little gun or something, um, once I figure everything out, yeah, he is cute. Yeah. Yep. Well, if anybody's interested in him um, and wants him the way he is, then I'll leave him the way he is. But otherwise, I'm going to go on the hunt to find something for him to hold in his hands. But that would be cute. So the green wreath was an 18. It was an 18 inch pine um, pine base. So I know, isn't he cute? Oh, no problem, Donna. Glad I could help. 
All right, guys, you guys have a blessed evening, and I will see you definitely again on Thursday night. Um, the Halloween wreath already, um, the Halloween wreath was already given away. So, yep. All right, guys, thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening, and if I don't see you before Thursday, I'll be back on here um, Thursday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks, guys. Have a great night. Bye.